Hi guys. What? Morning. What up there? Uh, days of the weekly. <laughs> D to the L to the L to the D to the week to Lee. Another it? week. Fun uh, field and uh, adventurous here as always. Yes, we've got a new job starting tomorrow. Andy and Connor are on some digger driver, machine driver hire. So they've both got an easy day on their bottoms. Yes. And Jack are. We're going to try and free the day up so we can do some quotes because we're getting behind. We've got a lot of quotes to do. And yeah. And then we start a lovely new garden. One one that you wouldn't have seen us do since we started YouTube, which is a full uh, inside and out. Yeah. Back garden, front garden. Back garden, front garden. Well, Transformation. Yeah. yeah. Porcelain paving, block paving, the whole work. It's been a while since we've done a, a complete. Yeah, thing. it's not the most complete we've ever done, but it's a lot of work in one garden, which is nice. Yeah, I don't think we've done one since we started YouTube. No, we haven't. We haven't done one, Sam. So enjoy that. Yeah, enjoy that. Congratulations to Oracle Oz Oracle UK. Oz UK. Uh, we're just chatting, actually, hoping that you are in the UK and not in Oz, because uh, sending a keyring to Oz might bankrupt us. Bank yeah, you bankrupt, bankrupt us. us. You may be getting a picture of a keyring if you live in Oz with yeah, an, uh, email. an email keyring. Uh, yeah, obviously stay tuned for later in the video for this week's question of the week. Yeah, so well done. You, uh, there was a key wing winging its way to you. And thank you for your merch sales this weekend. Yeah, we had, we've had we had like four merch sales this weekend. Th another three pairs of socks. Yeah. They're selling like hotcakes. Hopefully we're going to bring some more stuff to the merch shop. Yeah, hopefully. We're, we're small time. We're, we're small people in a big apple, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah, small fish in an ever-increasingly big pond. Yeah, it's nice. We're in amongst it, as always. Yeah. Getting amongst it. They, there's always a bigger fish, that's what they yeah. say. Anyway, a sit trout. back. A trout. We are the trouts of YouTube. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, sit back. Cups, this cup. Sit back and enjoy the first half of the Danes Low yeah. Weekly. Better than being a whale. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, that's a seal. <laughs> that's a seal. That was Andy last week. Bye, bye. Uh, yeah, lovely. Enjoy. Bye. That's all right. Morning, guys. Morning, all. Monday, 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 Monday. What is it? Monday morning. It's Monday morning, all day long. Jack's wearing a thong. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Uh, right, what are we on? Well, where are we at? What's happening? We're in the yard. We are um, in the yard. Firstly, first job of the day, Saturday, I went and picked up some sides for the 14 foot new uh, Eiffel Williams trailer uh, from a subscriber messaged us said i've got some sides mate do you want them we said yes we'll come and get them went there saturday lovely to meet the old boy stephen lee so thank you very much stephen lee big up stephen nice lovely to meet sides you, mate. nice to meet you second hand of course but it, a good wash it is missing we need to get a pillar for that side and the two end pillars like this one uh but other than that yeah lovely i don't know i'm guessing they were on an old trailer of his they were lying there for a while so he sorted us right out so thank you stephen yeah, uh, so what are we on this week? The uh, three tonner, I guess, and the skip loader are out to a, a machine, man machine hire type job, moving some dirt. Uh, the same place that Manitou got stuck. Yeah, we are, we're getting ahead of schedule today on everything. We've got jobs to book in, people to go and see, quotes to do, all sorts. Yeah, we need to get the exhaust off at some point. We'll have a look, uh, well, check it out now today. I know it is. We've got to Thursday. Yeah. The more time we've got to free up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, on the last in, on the inspection, there was a little uh, hairline crack in the exhaust on the grab. That we need to sand to put a bit of weld on. Uh, and then we are starting a big new garden job. Big new garden and driveway, uh, which we will show you around probably in this week's video. No, as in this video, uh, not Fridays. Because we're going to be there for, I think it's in the calendar for three weeks. But there's a lot going on there. There is block paving, porcelain paving, brickwork, sleeper work, drainage work, uh, clearance obviously. So there's a lot, lot happening there. But yes, we're going to get these machines loaded up and get over to the man machine hire job. Lovely, lovely house. And we will tune in uh, shortly. Yeah, yep. Digger and dumper on. We've also got loads of boards because we're moving dirt from one part of this chap's garden to another and he wants us to protect the garden with boards. So we've got loads of boards on. 
dumper digger Bosch number plate Alright, who's my number plate last? Dave's, Dave's Fruit and Veg Emporium, mate. Dave's. Right, Dave? Dave's Fruit and Veg Emporium. Talking to Dave's, Mr. B, who is in there, told us that uh, Dave at D&J actually mentioned our open day in the video. I haven't seen it, I need to have a watch. Apparently he can't make it, which is a shame, but Chris at every trade is coming. Mr. B, you said you saw Dave and D&J mention our open day. Do you know where else in the video it was? I was trying to find it. Ah, yeah. oh, opening a package from a subscriber. I'll check that out. He's opening his package from a subscriber. That's <laughs> rude to me, Jack. <laughs> Mr. B. Mr. B. Morning, Molly. Yeah, for having me. Oh, right, we're here, guys. We are here. Uh, you might remember this place from when we saved the Manitou with Shani Shun and Shun Shun. Uh, three tonners on board. One ton skip load, loads of boards. Hopefully there's enough room to get around the house. Yes, we're, uh, they're digging out the walled garden. So we'll actually see the rest of Lance's wall as well, because that's been up. Uh, we'll have to note the brickwork, have a little uh, have a little rundown, a little review. Give our uh, opinion on Lance's brickwork. Yeah, see, we'll see if he's done a decent job or not. Okay. Right, let's show you the job. So yes, as you remember, this is where the Manatee was stuck. Uh, Lance and Danny got this wall up. Lovely looking wall. This will be the new walled garden. But what we need to do is get it down to height. So that's roughly the height we're going to. So we've got to scrape this whole area off, backfill it with that nice topsoil there. So this gets down to height. So finished height is patio, block work, patio, all the way across. We're then going to board this out. There, through those trees up there into the woodland and that's where he's tipping the dirt so literally simple driver machine and driver hire get this all down to height get that top level on top all on there leveled out dig it off get it all down into the woodland bosh jobs are good one. and then Lance and Danny can come back and finish their lovely wall off which I think is going to have a gateway like that one over this side somewhere here yes Right, let's go and get the boards and the dumper. So we're just getting it boarded out, guys. We're about six boards short, but he's got a stack we can use. But uh, we've we even found something to skip. So we've got some strange boards. With two of hearts there. I think there's the extra hearts over there somewhere. But why use nice new inch ply when we can use skip ply? Lovely. There's so yeah, into that woodland there. So they're going to cart the dirt along these boards. I guess there's only about another 10 meters to board out. And then into this woodland where he has started. But Connor's going to take it round. And he's going to use his lovely little uh, garden tractor, the one that we used to try and dig that manatee out to pile it all up, mound it up. Lovely. Yep, the Kabuta, the Kabuta garden tractor, front loader, backhoe. Hey, hey. Danny's always make a bit of kit, I reckon. I think Sam wants one of them for his uh, Dexter. Yeah.
What do you think of the brickwork, Sam? Uh, well, probably could have done better on my eyes shut, mate. <laughs> no, I think it looks really smart. He's done a lovely job. The wall as a whole looks absolutely stunning. I must say, I do like the brick. Lance, what was it like, mate? Was it a nice brick to lay? From my eyes, mate. It looks like a nice brick. Although, to be fair, the customer did say that Danny bet, laid most I of it. I bet he wasn't happy with these little snips under the cutty in front of them, were you, Lance? Yes, he did say Danny laid most of it, so well done, Danny. Danny, cracking bit of brickwork. I work. presume that Lance was on his European tour of quoting, <laughs> wasn't he? Yeah, look, lovely steps down. He didn't do that, did he? Oh, he didn't do that bit, someone else did. <laughs> okay, see you later. Just been in the office we have guys doing some quotes. We managed to get four quotes off so far. We've got another three to do. But I just spotted look who's back. Look who's back. Chunky's back. Just been to Cabinum. He was going to bring some sand back, but there was too much crap in the buck. And uh, it's not, not one for trying to get in and clean it out. So, yep, yep. Chunky! Chunky, have a look round, mate. Have a look round. There you are. Chunky! Oh no, this is all for a minute. Park that up the top for me. Just go easy. Because them jaws slide about. Bye. Love ya. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Hi guys, uh, another office day. I know we keep saying how busy we are, but we've got a lot of quotes to get out. Well, no, the, the busier we are, the more time we've got to spend in the office, Jack, to get more work. Yeah. Because then we're busy, busy. But we're so busy that we've got to spend time in it. It's an awkward situation to be in. Good news, I think we've confirmed our shop fit out, which is nice. Uh, so that'll get done before our opening. And we're just going to go see another quote, and then we're going to head over to Andy and Connor and see how they're getting on. And bring the machines back. How are you getting on? How are you getting on? Uh, Chunky is and doing I'm what he needs to do. He's going to have a look about and see what's needed and doing. He uh, he just runs his own diary, that bloke. Yeah, we've done we've done six yeah, six quotes today. Uh, or as we like to call them in the trade, estimates. Mm. Yes. Well, no, other six quotes, estimates. aren't they? We, we quote a price and we stand by that price. Uh, well, no, what they've actually called is tenders. Lots of businesses, lots of companies will send an estimate. So this is roughly what it's going to cost, but we weren't going to give you the actual figure until after the job. We don't do that. We send a price, and as long as we deliver exactly what's on that spec, that's the price. If we get there and there are extras and things change, of course the price changes. But you say yes to one of the Danes Low quotes, we deliver what we've said we're going to deliver, that's the price you're going to pay. Simple. you got the sucky sweet on, mate. I have. I always think I do better with them. We, uh, we've had a, it's been a, it's been a, Today we smashed it, as in we've done six quotes, but we've done them to the ultra best of our ability, so that we win them. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, tomorrow, we're usually we're a bit slapdash. <laughs> <laughs> no, we always try. If it's local, we really push to get them nailed them right down, don't we? Yeah, we do. If it's a bit further afield, and obviously you've got to take that into account. But now on the whole, we've done six really good quotes today, and uh, we sent them out. They're gone into so, the ether. out of our hair. Uh, clean as bim, as you saw. Chunky's at the yard. We're cracking on. Uh, yep, yep. Yep. Quite a big pile of dirt they've moved today. Quite a big pile of dirt. The little garden tractor's in here. Pushing it up. Corners on the skip load, look. Wrecking the place. This is the, the woodland area that uh, they've been filling up. Connor is almost stuck to the boards. It, it rained a bit earlier, so the boards were a bit slippy and they may have moved. But Connor, Connor didn't just get off. Pass, the wonder we can't pass his test if we can't stick to boards. So yes, I mean, they, they are protecting the grass, but they have moved somewhat.
But let's see how they got on here. Obviously this is the area that they've been levelling, digging out. Dug it all out and leveled the topsoil he had there over the area. Dug out a barrier there next to the greenhouse for uh, gravel to be laid. Well, hardcore and then gravel. Yeah, good job. A team, are they? that's the boards up it's uh it definitely protected the grass i mean there are just a few patches at the edge of the boards where it rained earlier but uh give it a week or two you won't even know these were here you might there another one's seen better days uh but yes andy's just uh, doing some final feathering final tickling about to get it to the right level for the customer and uh yes he will use every last drop of the 4 p.m but that's fine that's fine it's man and machine man and machine I'm repeating myself again like a parrot. Arnon, Arnon, uh, early evening actually, it's five o'clock, we're running a bit late. Just got back from uh, Machine and Man High, picking up the boys. We are sending uh, another parcel. We had another parcel, haven't we, Jack? Another yeah, merch another sale. Merch another merch sale to Stuart Gallup over Wallop. Uh, <laughs> Stuart Gallup, it's not his name. Uh, what's his name? Stuart Gallup. Uh, pair of socks, mate, and a special edition, Dane's Low Key Wings. So thank you very much, Stuart, for your purchase. It's Monday. It is still Monday. The 22nd, and we're just sending it now. Jack's going to drop it on the way home. So thank you for your great cancel. Uh, it's been a bit of a weird day today. We've just been catching up, getting ahead, planning ahead, sorting out jobs. One or a couple more jobs today, which is nice. So we are pushing as always. Push, push, push. You're pushing it, Jack. I'm pushing. What are you pushing, buttons? I'm pushing something, mate. The card's not the card, the... I don't know what's going on at the moment with all my phones and internets and everything. It's just all gone kaput. 
around this here part. Yeah, 4G's not working very well around here, so internet's crap. As soon as you get into Bumpstead, you can't use your phone. So what's happening now? What are you saying? It's not letting me do anything now. So it's not only going to say, Stuart, Stuart, Stuart Gallup, it might be a one day late, mate, because we are, technical issues at our end. What's that? A YouTube notification. Uh, yeah, technical issues. You know what internet's like and technology, mate. We were, we're trying to trying to purchase a couple of homing pigeons. Uh, but they're few and far between it, the same, Jack, aren't they? Yeah. What particular species of bird? It's a pigeon. Must be like a, a carrier pigeon or whatever. Passenger pigeons! Passenger pigeons been extinct since 1914! Yeah. They are. Connor's had a nice day, sat in his ass and a dump all day. Connor, kind of mate, where's he gone? Yeah, well, the boys done well today. They've moved. I reckon they've moved 80 ton with the little micro uh, yeah, skip, skip dumper and uh, three ton. They've done really well, actually. Oh, that's a bit of money, so that's nice. Uh, we're going to get this complication process payment pending no nonsense out of the way and we'll come back to you in the morning so goodbye for now thank you very much <laughs> lovely oh it's gone through jack yeah that's just gone through parcels to go we've started using a company now called parcels to go because uh we now know that our parcels get to the people we send them to and the royal mail can't nick them so we've them off out of it and we've gone our own separate ways haven't we jack yeah so uh yeah Anyway, we're going to get this sent for you, mate. So hopefully when you receive it, you like them. Uh, let us know what you think, really. Thank you very much. Morning, people. Morning, Connor. Morning. Happy as ever. It's, uh, you know what it is, guys? It's new job day. It's the start of a new job. And actually quite a, little, quite a long little job. Long little job. Double a, that's a, what's it called? An oxymoron. Uh, it's actually three weeks we're in the calendar for this job. Pat porcelain patio, block paved driveway, sleeper retaining, brickwork, uh, no fencing, a little bit of turf. Ah, oh, turf. And yes, so we're taking the one tunner because we've got a tight access. So this baby's coming to get us dug out. We're taking slabs probably next week because they're all here. We'll get blocks on order. Pardon me. You what? What now? No, that's going on the trailer, I think. Anyway, yes, new job day, guys. New job day. It's a bit of a misly day. We seem to only do clearance, because obviously the first day or two is going to be clearance, in misly weather. So uh, we're going to get loaded up. I'm going to nip down and see a customer, and then we're going to head over to the site, and I'll show you around. Yep, yep. Where are we, Sam? Huh? Where are we, mate? We're on site today. We're on site. Brand new job. It's going to be New great. job. Lots and lots of going on at this job. New job so... means new motivation. Yes. Doesn't it? New motivation. So, the front. So, they've got a lovely block pay driver. Been down for many years. We're taking up all the edging. All the edging. All the edging. Putting a new charcoal block edge around the old driveway. Getting up these old lights. And then we are extending the driveway uh, out here in like a, a lovely sweeping S back to the gate. Some nice sleeper raised beds along either side of the house. That's the front. The Akos are staying and we are replacing all this path for blocks. Try as we might, we couldn't, they've, they've stopped producing these blocks. So the new blocks are slightly wider. So we're gonna have to either re reuse old from the back and try and get as far as we can or go half and half with new with a new charcoal border. Uh, to the path, the Akos along this side are coming up and we are porcelain paving from this point all the way around here. This area here is being porcelain. We're taking it back there and then we're going out from here, sweeping curve back to the house. There, all of this is coming out. The lower area there is being extended. So this will all be white porcelain how about 100 square meters of white porcelain with new steps where required with blue engineering brick underneath. This area here is being removed. So all these blocks are coming up. Akko is being removed. This area is being turfed. So the grass will come up to the house with the new patio starting here. And then down the garden. See what I mean? There's a lot of things going on here. 
down the garden, we've got a lovely pond area and garden office. And we are chopping back this bank, clearing all the scrub, chopping back the bank. New sleeper retainer coming along the edge of this pond to the brick wall that starts there. And clearing out all of this little bit of scrub at the back, getting this all cleared, filling that old manhole in. Cleared, cleared, cleared. So that's then just dirt, lovely fresh dirt for the homeowner to do as they please with. And clearing this area. So yes, clearance, sleeper wall, clearance, clearance turf, clearance, lovely sweeping porcelain patio, round to the front, new block paving extension to the driveway, sleeper beds, bosh. Lots and lots of moving parts on this one. Brickwork, slabbing, sleeper work, block paving, drainage, other things. So we're gonna get unloaded. We're gonna start marking out and then we're gonna start clearing. And yes, these are the blocks, so the same as the driveway. So we're gonna see if we've got enough to repurpose. Uh, and also we are cleaning the old driveway. So jet washers and cleaning solutions and giving it a proper go over. That's the job. Yep, yep. So we're getting this bit cleared, guys. This bit's going to be turf, like I said. Turf, mate. So we've got these old blocks up. Got to break that concrete out of the end. And then those can't be reused, those blocks. They're not the same size as the ones at the front. So we're going to get this old wall up from in here. Give it a nice rake over. Tickle it about. Get the echoes out. Bosh. And then those so blocks. Tickle it about, mate. Tickle it about. And then these blocks can, we're going to try and reuse around the front. Here comes 10 men, look. Yep, yep. So we're getting there, guys. Got lots of these ones we're saving because we're going to replace this area here with them and a bit in there with them and then new that side chunky and andy have been getting these lovely uh, victorian uh, i don't know what they're called floor yeah but they're not are they they're floor bricks yeah. yeah there's probably a technical term for them like chevron oh, chevron I'd blue them, no i'd call them diamond glazed diamond glazed diamond glazed, diamond glazed uh, like a set i'll tell you who'd know what they are He's in the business, he's probably ripped loads of them out of his Victorian houses that he buys and does up. Is our mate Chris? Chris. Every trade. Every trade. What are they, Chris? Chris, what are these called? Do you mate. get them up north? Up north, mate. Or are they just a they're southern good thing? Old boy, isn't it, mate? Good, yeah, old boy. good old boy. Good old Appar boy. Apparently, he's coming to our, our grand opening. Um, he's grand bringing, RSVP, and yeah. he's bringing all of his subscribers. It's hard to coach. We might have to limit the uh, burgers and beers. Yeah, it's like a Jolly Boys out in <laughs> So, yeah, Andy and Chungi getting all this out, all these. Uh, Victorian stuff, a pearl of the hardcore here for a grab. Getting these lights out, gone, bosh. And yeah, clearance day one, well underway. Yep, yep, lovely jubbly. I mean, what we do do is we do a, a good day's graph when it comes to day one, and then the rest of it we just slow right down. Yeah. Don't we, Jack? Yeah. Isn't that right, Jack? That's right, mate. That's Chunky's right. over there, look. Chunky. Right, I'm going about... Mate, look at them, look. 
So we were just clearing the patio and Sam and Connor spotted the customer making cupcakes and there was a debate as to whether or not they were for us. Connor said, and, they, uh, better, Connor said they better be. <laughs> and it turns out they are. Look at this. Uh, fresh cream, isn't it? Is that fresh cream? Fresh cream. I'll, be, I'll be up tonight, mate, for spewing up. <laughs> just wipe it off then. Right. Sam, what's your uh, review on the cupcake? Very fluffy. It is very fluffy. Very fluffy indeed. It's got Chunky going in for one, eh, mate? There you go, Chunky, look. Oh. Oh, mate. That's not good. I could do several of them. I then. Light and fluffy, Connor. I'll do it, Andy. Quite a Connor had his in one bite, didn't you, Con? Papa Elf, mate. We've got those. I think we've got them from Scottsdale. Question of the way. Oh, you do it the other way around, of course, because you do it struggle away. Yeah, I look at you. And you look at me, and let's go make a family. Question of the week by <laughs> Connor. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this week's video. We thought we'd quickly cut away and give you this week's question. Yeah. Which is... What is the name? Of our new yard. What is the name? Of our new yard. I repeat, what is the name? Of our new yard. Yes. It bit has of, a name. Bit of admiration about it, Jack. Amoration. Amoration. Amoration, mate. straight at you. Uh, straight. It's a name that we had for our previous yard many years ago that never came to fruition. Yeah, we've kept it in the back burner. Hope we have. use it again. And so, by Christ, we have. Well, so we've called our yard the Something Yard, uh, Faulkner Road. Yeah, so Road. have a look back in your diaries. You I mean it should all be in your, it should be forefront of your mind because you're all coming to the opening on the 1st of June. Yeah. See you there. Uh, back to the video. Back to the B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all go, go, go here. Look at Clowny, look. All right, Clowny? How's your tune in this was, mate? Huh? Connor, mate. Come on, Connor, mate. Look, wheelbarrow waiting. Waiting. You've got operator of the year over here. Chunky. And wheelbarrow operator number uno. Connor's still under, uh, under observation when it comes to uh, wheelbarrow operations, mate. Here, Jack. <laughs> Take it in arm. Well, we're getting there. It's all go, go, go. We are ripping out on site and it's going rather well. That's a bit big, Andrew. Let me break that up. Hold on. Can't stop the rot, gotta make the paycheck. Broke everything to do it. Went over it and through. So, most of the hardcore gone. Well, all of the hardcore gone from here. That's just being turfed. All this out here, all the echoes out. This. But, uh, the haunching here from the blocks is all out, the steps out, that wall's out. We've got those few blocks there to go in there. Andy is digging out for the extended patio. So it's coming out here to there, heading back down, sort of sweeping back to round, hitting that hedge about there. Lovely. We, uh, we found another concrete slab, so we had that out. This area's obviously being turfed, and uh, try as we might, we can't turf over concrete, so we have it out. And then we've just got a nice uh, like eight inches of sand, and then another six inches of topsoil. Lovely. So that's end of day one, guys, basically. So we've got all this area up, all the concrete stuff out, giving it a good go over, got all the echo concrete and all the echoes are out. 
and then we've got the topsoil from the new patio area lovely fresh dark topsoil back on this area let it, we're gonna let it dry out a little bit give it another break and then at some point over the next couple of weeks three weeks get it turfed and then this area is done lovely not bad for day one we got all of this area up so all of the echoes the step the wall that was in there all the blocks up the ones that we're saving around stacked at the front all the hardcores in a big hardcore pile and we started getting this area dug off for the patio for the extension of the patio uh, we're going to put all of this we're putting a retainer along the pond and we're going to use some of this to backfill that uh, which would be lovely give them a bit more space at the top and uh, this is almost down to height now obviously we've got some drainage and the, there's going to be a new this area here was about that wide but we're going to bring it out to about here so they've got a bigger area that's the same level as the kitchen and then obviously a much larger area the same level as well no they're going to step into this the same level as that currently so yeah it's not bad for day one i'll show you around the front I'll show you what's been going on So, blocks we're reusing, because we can't get these blocks anymore, they've stopped manufacturing them. So those are going to be used to fill in gaps like this, we're putting some raised beds here and there. Got this, all this hardcore that came out today, that's going to get grabbed away tomorrow. Uh, and then we're ready to dig out this area for the patio extension. Got new, new drainage channels where we need to, new tops where we don't, and yes not bad for day one even with a bit of wet weather tomorrow get the rest of the patio dug out get this stuff grabbed away probably start digging out for the driveway and get the sleepers along the pond because once we get the sleepers along the pond we can lose all the dirt that's behind here and why take it away when it can stay there you go that's a little catch race hey connor what? hey how you getting on today all right yeah mate. yeah good day pushing barriers don't do what? Don't shove that in my face. <laughs> Ooh, a bit bitey. A bit bitey. Yes. Okay, guys. Chungi! Gotta make the paycheck. Broke everything to we're back guys, we are back in the office. Well, we're back to the back to the back to the B. Mike oh. MC! On the way back to site, to the yard, we stopped at our friends over at Kiwi Clothing. Keith and the team, Kiwi Clothing. Hang on, Joe, I've got a big old roll up on the go here. Keith and the team at Kiwi Clothing. We use them for all our uh, embroidery, all our uh, uh, garments. Wear. garments. Garments. We've got some fresh garments. We've got some fresh. Fresh. This fresh. one is for the bigger bloke. <laughs> fresh gilets. Welder Faber style gilets, fresh yes, Danes Welder, alone. Uh, Baz was the one that got us on today, he's riding. Yeah, Baz had one in one of his in some of his first videos. So we thought we'll have one of them each. Yeah, and uh, we've had them for what six months, and they're a bit tore out. Sam's is especially. Mine's gone, mate. Sam's is in the bin. That's because you notice how mine's in the bin first because it does all the work. Ha <laughs> ha. Fresh in the mic. Lovely. We've got these bad boys. Now, this is an upgrade to our previous edition. And they will be going on the merch stall. Look at those Why guys. Orange rim, Danes low. Oh, fresh. Proper fresh garments. Look at that. Danes low, that mate. Look like a jelly bean. Dazzling. Dazzling. What else have we got in the box, Sam? Nice, isn't it? Nice tight fit in that. I can't remember what else we bought. I like it a lot, mate. All of it's Connor, mate. <laughs> Connor, mate. Connor, mate, in the hood, mate. I filmed him earlier and went, Jack, don't do that to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Bit, bit He's, uh, Connor has been on form lately. He's a lovely lad. Little ones, look. These are for my kids. Look at that, look. Oh, is it on the back of the mini diggers? Mini Hashtag mini, mini diggers. They're good, isn't they? <clears throat> That's for Bertie. Bertie's new hoodie. No, Bertie's what well, the baby ones aren't. Although they might not all be. I remember. Oh, they're not the. Oh, they're last not the pullover ones. Ups, 
Yes, because I bought them separately last time. But these are kiwi, uh, kiwi. Oh, you bought the hoodie before. Kiwi right? sourced. Kiwi's the name of the company. Kiwi clothing and promotions. So that's the kiddies. Lovely. They're going to buzz out them tonight. Again, this will all be available on the merch store one day. When... Oh, I think we put the cats on there, mate. Yeah, but it's how we get Keith to turn them around quick enough. Or we just tell people that there's a two-week lead time. We can put it on the website, can't you? Mate, that's not my hoodie. Surely not. That fucking is. That's like a tent, Jack. Oh, and we've got our new... We've got, for the first time, we've got our socials on the hoodies. On the sleeve, Sam. But why? That seems, that seems a lot bigger than I'm used to, mate. I mean, I know I've put on a couple of pounds, Jack, but that's taking the piss, mate. What are you wearing now? 2XL, isn't it? I don't know. What is it, mate? Where is it now? I can now get lost in here, will you? 2XL. That's a 2XL. Now, unless that needs washing and shrinking a bit, that looks... It's exactly the same hoodie. They feel a lot more stretchy than they used to be, Jack. I do like the socials down the sleeves, guys. Because we do YouTube now. YouTube. YouTube partners. <laughs> so we have Apparently. one of them. Jack, that's your one, mate. Thank you. These are fresh garments, not to be worn on site right, until yeah. after oh. at least the opening. They're fresh garments for Truck Fest and the grand opening. And these are for the grand opening to give away, are they? Yeah, probably a few of them, yeah. High vis. Dainslow High vis. These are it's, for, we... it's for Connor to wear when he's directing people and doing his speech. A car park. Car park attendant, yeah. Yes. Connor is the car park attendant. So when you all turn up, you see Connor first. Yeah, you say, where's Connor? I needed him to park me. And that's it, mate. That's it. Lovely. We've got some gilet, some professional business attire gilets on the way. No, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Black them. with some orange uh, detailing. Oh, accents. Accents. Uh... Yeah, mate, I'm going shopping. Ah. I'm going to go and sell these on the side of the road. For thruppence each, Jack. Thruppence. I, I do like. Box from the last lot, I we? do like our... Yeah, we've got... Yeah, we've got Mitch's clothes in there that are 8XL. No, we've got a load of high-vis left from last time. And we've got we've got a couple of spare orange polos in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, in the summer months, I do like wearing our orange polos. Well, they do attract the bugs. This is fresh, mate. I like this. I'm glad I got one back. I was missing it. Get it all dirty tomorrow. It's looking rough and ready. It's a bit, it's a bit too clean. It needs a bit dirty. Well, mine's all right for the summer, so I'm going to have that as my smart one, and this is my... Oh, yeah. When are you going to wear your smart one? Uh, when, when, we, when do we ever go anywhere smart? When we do decking jobs. <laughs> We've got one coming up, hopefully. Well, to be fair, I might as well, I might as well tear the other end out of this one. Yeah, put that away out of the way, then. Yeah, I'm going to. You know what you're like. You trip over it, you'll get cut. <laughs> All covered in dirt. That hoodie's coming with me tonight. I'm going to put that in the... Uh, in that's, the for the, that's for the truck first. I like the back. It's better, isn't it? Yeah, so we used to have our mobiles on there, and now we've got our landline. You're so Jack and Sam. Plus, this is the, the stacked logo that uh, Chris over at Stylized did for us. Yeah, what does it mean? Stacked on top of the other. Stacked on top. Yeah, that's fairly self-explanatory. Yeah, so it's the same as our stickers. So what was it before? The, at the end. Oh, yes, of course. At the end. Jack, I understand your being now. So the digger was the underline, whereas, with, underline, underline. whereas Chris uh, helped us with the juxtaposition of it. Yeah, so I've been out and done a grab. Just got back from that. Nice uh, hardcore slash saw grab. Jack and the boys were cracking on site. Yeah, I must. I, I feel how Connor felt last week pushing all them wheelbarrows. Done well there, mate. We, we yeah. smashed it today. Yeah, we did. Sleepers in tomorrow. Get the rest of that dirt gone down there. Base out. Start laying in the week. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll start laying it. Got some porcelain coming up. I can't remember the last time we laid slabs on YouTube. I don't know if we've ever laid slabs on YouTube, have we? Boardwoods. Oh yeah, Mr. B's. That was on there. Yeah, Mr. B's. Mr. House. B's. Uh, we've got no out of a place one of Mr. B's. Oh well, yeah, there's a crack in it, a hairline crack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do some invoicing. We won three. We sent seven quotes yesterday, and we've won three of them already, uh, which is lovely. It's all going to help towards the grand opening and pushing us forward. And the algorithm. And the algorithm. If you haven't done it yet, like, no, subscribe, no, like, subscribe, and then hit the little bell button. Thanks, people. Bye bye. Yeah. 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 Hugging on. Look at Jack and the Danes, though, to the cat, to the cap cap.
and then you have fresh afterwards. Look, fresh, 10 men. 10 men. You all right, 10 men? Don't shove it in my face, mate. Please, mate. Uh, lovely day on site, actually, guys. We had a cracking day, done loads of work. As usual, what we get paid for is work, don't we, Jack? We do. We do. Uh, yeah, so all that again tomorrow. It's five o'clock now. We're going home. So see you in the morning, bright, bright, fresh and early. Look at this. It's, look, it's really standing out from the fresh crowd. Fresh gums. Glam eyes. Connor's got his mankini coming uh, next week, haven't you, Connor? Yeah, mate. All Danes load up, isn't it, Connor? Yeah. That's right, Jack. Yeah, uh, lovely and fresh out here Labor as well. Chunky, look, I'd be on the door. Labor's you see that? Chunky. Yeah, no, you don't, Connor, mate. Oh, we give you clothes, mate. You go like, through clothes like mate. wildfire. Oh, Dan, oh, you've been eating my grapes. <laughs> yeah, you've been eating my grapes. You've been grapes, mate. Jack, Connor, mate. Swear words, mate. Neighbours aren't getting nothing, mate. The poor don't get nothing, mate. You no, you get don't, mate. Well, maybe if you work a bit harder, mate, like the people say in the comments, you don't work hard enough, mate. Oh. Connor! Oh. Language! Jack! Bye. Quick, mate. Yeah. See you later, mate. Bye, Bye mate. Yeah. Bye. Hey, mate. Morning team, morning team YouTube. Hype, 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 hype. Look at, look at that dazzling. Dazzling in his new. Uh... I'll tell you what, Jack, I'll, start, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly say I'll stand out in the crowd, I will. <laughs> will oh, Connor will at all with his big head. Here he is. That's nice, isn't it? Looking at you. Well, what do you think about that, then, uh, I think uh, there's a dispenser on its way. Uh, yeah, 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 subpoena. <laughs> subpoena. Uh, yeah, so we are we're loaded up. Chunky is in Cavnum. Got the load off. Hopefully bringing some sand back, although I haven't heard anything, so probably not. And we are going to head down, get a coffee, obviously, and then head to site. No, we're going to get MKM. We're going to go to MKM. M to the M to the K. And I, get... I like going there. You like going there, yeah? one... The main reason I like going there is because they're a nice bunch of boys. Shall I bring the costing sheet in the spec again? I've got it. Have you? Uh, yeah, the, oh no, I dropped my new hoodie on the back, <laughs> mate. Uh, I like going there because they're just a nice bunch of boys. Plus, you get free coffee. Yes, so I'm not going to buy coffee at the shop. No, I'm not. I'm going to save gonna get money. Free, I'm going to free coffee. I mean, you don't get half as much. That's not the costing sheet. Well, blow me down with a feather. Where's well, that gone? I think then? it's in the office. No, because I bought it with me yesterday, man. Yeah, I know, and we brought it back yesterday. Why would oh, I... It's on the desk in the office, I'm sure of it. Why do I bought it back? I don't know. I'll run and get it. So, we had loaded up, just leaving the yard, and we had a call. We had a call from Shani Shan Shan, saying, where is the ballast, and where is the cement? Oh. I said to him, said, Lance, all we can do is apologise, mate. It's been one of them weeks. <laughs> You've had this order. Well, to be fair, and, it's I, and I also said to him, I didn't take the order, mate. Right, also, took it, mate. also, he messed us around. It was supposed to be Saturday. Yeah, so exactly, actually, Lance, mate. So, Lance, you can't mess us about, mate. We deliver <laughs> dates. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we had it all loaded Friday night, mate. It had to all come off again, mate. Yeah, we mate. had to handball it off, Lance. No so, extra charge. Yeah, I mean, we haven't made any money on this job now. <laughs> the labour it took to unload that van twice. Oh, so, uh, Connor and Andy are going to run out some ballast and some cement to our boy Lance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all in good spirits, hey Lance. I just, oh, just, honestly, mate, I don't know what's happened this week. No, you said it earlier. It's because Chunky's not here. Chunky's in Cavanum, so Chunky can't be here running the fort, running the yard. He would have said to us this morning, you've got Lance this morning. Yeah, I imagine if I'd seen him, he would have said it. It's beggar's belief, mate. Anyway, round two, let's go. So before we run off, we've needed to come up to Sam's unit. Obviously far, far, more, far much more space in here now. The lorry's out, the camper van's out. And we haven't really given you any camper van updates, but he's just shown me his new doorknob for his bedroom door. Bedroom door. So I thought I'd show you. Yeah, it's an old phone dial, as you can see. It's the one you put your fingers in and do the. But you have to turn the dial to open the lock, look. That's, that's a bit special, that, isn't it? Do you like it? Stephanie's idea, she said, can you make that work? I said, I'm sure I can make that work. <laughs> so I've got to make a little badge to go there to cover it up. Do you like it? Yeah, man, that's awesome. Just another quirky piece of uh, engineering. Right? You can actually put your finger in a number and call a number to, yeah. to get in. <laughs> right, anyway, we're actually going to go and do some work. Well, we're gonna, first of all, we're going to get some sleepers. Yep, yep.
Another timely delivery. Another timely delivery by Dane Slow. Look at that, look. We said Wednesday morning, it's Wednesday morning. There you go. Yeah, AM. <laughs> uh, that's the delivery done for Sean. Two more tongue coming out. And we are gonna get some sleepers. Yep, yep. Hi guys, we're here on site. On site. Digger is going around the front to round up the hard course so Sam can grab it. We've got some sleepers down the end here for the pond works. We did forget the waders, so Connor might be getting a little bit wet. But the plan here is for Andy to bring the digger up at some point, clear out all this sort of scrub, clear all this out, get it a nice level off, fill this manhole in because it's no longer used. And we're going to cut a nice fresh line down the pond to that wall and set sleeper retainer along there and then backfill get it leveled up and then we're going to clear this bit here as well lovely So we're at the pond, diggers up here. We've got the rest of that hardcore out over there. Me and kind of broke that up. Sam's grabbed it all on. Uh, and now we're on to sleeper retaining pond banks. Someone's gonna fall in. Afternoon. Uh, we are on the retaining, 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 retaining the edge of this pond all the way along here and up to there. The banking falling in. There's a little bit of land around the back of this sort of studio. They want level off, so we're uh, we're leveling it. Jack's in there strapping it up. We've put uh, one, two, three, eight. I think eight scaffold poles in the ground, about six foot. Push them with a digger and a sledge. Two sleepers high, so only 400 out of the ground. It's all been strapped up to each pole there, there, there. All tech bolted together, bear is all tech bolted. So now we're going to backfill and get leveled off. Yep, so it's all go. We're going to level this bit in all along here now, level it all in, tidy it up. And then the job up here, Jack's probably showed you yesterday, but we managed to get all the good soil out of the garden and pull it over the old patio, which was here. So we're going to let that dry out now, busk it up a bit, ready for turf. This lot here, we've got two tiered patio going here, a second lower tier in front of the doors. I can never get my hands the right way around, peeps. Like, that way, that's it, there we go, look, over there somewhere. There's a lower tier in front of the doors and then it steps up onto a, a larger tier here. 
Uh, I think they're all single size slabs, all the same size, six by nines, I believe. So yeah, that's all dug out ready. We've got to cart the dirt away. All the hardcore and the sand from the previous block pavement we're going to spread on the bottom of this lot. Gives us a good base, and then we'll base it up even more with new stuff. Again, I need a shave, people. Been a long week. Uh, all that hardcore's coming out, going out the front, and then the continues round here, round here, and then straight across here somewhere. So we've got all that to get out, dug out, based out. Out the front, we've got to get dug out and based out. So this week, we're going to get everything prepped. All the areas dug out and prepared, ready for laying next week. I'm hoping to do 100 square metres of porcelain by sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, and he's going to start blocking out the front. So I reckon we're hoping to get everyone in the next week. It's going to be touch and go, guys. Okay. Pardon me? Who got the cups? Who got them? Yeah. Someone missed out mate. Why is that, mate? Because I ain't got one, mate. That'd be chunky, mate. Done it on purpose, probably. Uh, but yeah, we're hoping to get everybody in the end of the next week. I don't know how that's going to go, but that's what we're aiming for. So we'll just see. We'll play it by ear. Oh, look, look at this. Look. A cup of coffee on site. Lovely. <laughs> Jack, I can feel a bit of rain in the air, mate. Yeah, it's definitely turning, mate. It's turning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's all go, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, so we just stopped for a bit of lunch, guys. Oh, just seeing the clouds over there. We might be getting a bit soggy in a bit. Andy's gonna finish up over there, get that all leveled out. And if we can, we'll lose some of this in the void. So that area becomes usable for the customer, which is lovely. Uh, that's drying out nicely to get raked off and turfed. We're gonna get this all dug out today is the hope, get all the dirt around the front. The plan is by the end of tomorrow, we have all of this area dug out and based out. The front might not be based, but it will be dug. And then we're literally set up for laying. We can start laying at any point. We've got to get all the echoes out because they're having stone traps rather than the actual sort of echo drains, drainage channels. And Connor's getting the last of this hardcore out, ready to go on the lorry. And yeah, we're getting there. Not a bad couple of days. Hey, Con. Yeah. Chunky's going to take the hardcore in, aren't you, Chunky? Taking the hardcore. Oh, yeah? Yep. Lovely. Well, anyway, I'm going to crack on. You what? Yeah, I'm going to crack on as well. Yeah, yep. Yeah.